Alright, take me a little soul. I gotta grab a present for someone. Ooh, a present. You said that car was you trash? Were this. It wasn't scratchable. Oh. Wasn't scratchable. Oh. Maybe, oh, maybe Francis could have helped you get it. It wasn't Damn it. scratchable. You said that car was trash, Eugene? Uh, I, when I drove it, I didn't think it was very good. Oh, look. It wasn't me that drove it. I don't know. I th oh, no, I think it was Boga that was driving it. He was driving it like shit. So I just assumed it was bad. And then he said it was bad, so. Could have been on copium. Persia, I have air cooling. What was the. Oh, maybe Bogo will sell his, actually. What the fuck did it say it had earlier chat? I keep forgetting the name. Listen, the computer itself doesn't get hot. It's literally just the fucking CPU. Bogo has one? Yeah. I don't know if he's awake. Dude, it's like his OG car. This yeah, car I mean, is no. so good. Just buy it. Just buy it. It's only one of them. You, you, you lose it. I almost said something really mean. I did. What were you gonna say? I don't know. I can't say it. Say it. I can't. You can. No, Francis is good. Well, I put the thermal paste on it. It's been, no, it's been good, frog. so. Oh no, they're still there. And then I, uh... <laughs> Yep, this Turn is, eco yeah. mode off the power supply. Francis, that's what fuck do we go in? Shoot that, Francis! You're shoot still it. here! Francis, please! I'm masturbating! Hey, Eugene, I need you to keep it moving, please. We're almost I can't. Here. I'm sorry, my car broke down. Damn it. Okay, I'm finished. My car just broke down. With the pen, just sign your name. No! Okay. Right there. Yeah, I have liquid cooling. My bad. Hey, Not give me the pen. No, thank you. Let me sign that. Oops, got come on it. Oh you're no! Free, you're free to go. Fuck me. Okay, it's good enough. Good enough. Oh, fucking DNA. Good job, Francis. Oh, thanks. All right, thanks for the cubby, I guess. Francis is the leader of the real cop. <laughs> Alright, let's give Harry a shit. Oh, oh. You're so hot. Let me get this fucking car out of here. I'll be right back. Francis, I noticed you don't have a gun. What you say, bro? Oh. And I noticed you don't have a class two. Why is the fucking top white? The shotgun. Ah. What? I do need to buy a million it? guns, bro. So right. Oh, yeah, something to shoot things. TG44. I mean, I gotta change it real quick. What? TG44. Hey, like a German gun? Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Yeah, you're a nasty gun, yeah. You're perfect with your, like, Queen Toby. I can't make you any ammo, though, because Toby was too lazy to put the ammo on my bench for the last two weeks. No, I'll change it. You, when oh, you get the gift, just you want to be... Is it just a soul rifle? It's just a soul rifle.
Is this, um... What's this batch of other characters in? Oh, never mind. So I, I thought it was a different song. Yeah, W. No, never mind. Drives I yeah, it does that. You're fucking flying. Nobody has this car though, it's dope. Where did all you turds go? I just come back to, to Tommy, bro. Cool, Marcel, you on the... I'm giving uh, Harry a gift real quick. Marcel, you on him?
That should be fine then. Hopefully the cops don't find it. Get that shit, man. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thanks, man. <sighs> Very strong kidneys. Ah, <sighs> let's go up to the office. Okay. So before we get to the bad news, uh, I had Dean approach me today. Dean from the Dean Mando. Quincy. Uh, yep, yeah. and he wants to drop a country song uh, through us. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and I came to the agreement that I'd pay him two hundred twenty grand, and uh, that's where we're at. So, yeah. Okay. He's gonna drop a country song through uh, Wu Chang instead of Mandem Records. All right, well, that's freaking hilarious. And the fucking bad news is, turns out we have a fucking rat in the company who's been storing, let's just say, you know, white cream colored fucking bricks in the company. Wait, what? Yeah, let's just say there's a secret stash in the fucking garage and someone's been storing uh, cream colored bricks down there. No you know, shot. Let me, just, let me just show you, actually. Meet me, me, me in the garage. I got to call someone real quick. Okay. Hey, Francis, they have to do oil rig. Oh, uh, okay. You can finish it today. Oh, wow, Frank, did you uh, look at you a <laughs> certain something for, you know, you know some stuff we don't? So, I do anything. I put my dick on that. I'll be right down there, Harry. All right. Franny is a nerd. Don't say that. Ah, oh, I just did. Hey, you said some shit about me, Novi, bro? I just called you a nerd, and I honestly think it's a term of endearment. It's a compliment. Is it a compliment yeah, he's to a be human. a nerd? I don't know. I think it's a um... What a dear, he's a human. I guess I prefer to be uh, a nerd than an old Uji. Oh, you're lucky. You're no pass, bitch. You're lucky. How has how has Randy been ever since his girlfriend died? He's been sad. Really? Hopefully he's okay. Since if you'll notice, the gun only weighs. Yeah, man, look at this fucking cream brick that they stored down there. You see that? <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Somebody stored a fucking cream <laughs> brick down there. <laughs> Yo, that's so sick. Yeah, come check out the interior, man. It's sick. It's actually mad dope. You take it for a spin. Me? Take it for a spin? Yeah, yeah, like you're gonna take it for a spin. Uh -huh. So, um, there. So, you know, like, I. Fatoni reached out about India, right? And. Uh, I scheduled an entire oh, thing for me. India, like entire, you know, like it just all Wu Chang, nothing but Wu Chang. Real quick, what's your state ID? Uh, four zero two four seven. I 
Remember, said you needed a car, man? This is your fucking car. Congratulations. <laughs> Yo, what? No one has this car, man. When I went to this, they said, hey, nobody bought this fucking car. It's a drop top. You can put the fucking... All right, man. Cop in the driver's seat. This is your car. This is luxury right here. This is a business vehicle right here, man. Yo, this is so sick. Thank you. Oh, Holy shit. Yeah, you see that, man? Come on now. This shit classic. Yo. This is amazing. Right, Holy so, cow. Uh, what were you saying about India? So, man, all right. So, dude, I can't even, I can't even complain about India now. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you see this fucking whip, baby? This shit cool. Dude, this is so freaking sick. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Nah, nothing, man. This is a gift for all the hard work. Oh, uh, are you sure? Of course, of course. All right. Well, I really appreciate that. I'm definitely going to keep this car forever because this is amazing. Um, all right. So, you know, Fatoni reaches out about India and, you know, to my knowledge, everything is um, is just going to be Wu-Chang, right? Like I, you know, specified that over and over and over. So I make this entire set based around just Wu-Chang. It's been like, you know, literally two days on just getting everything great for us and then you know, like, okay, it was amazing there. It was like at the Cerberus Arena. I, you know, like had access to flamethrowers and everything. Like I can send you photos Damn. of what it looked like. Uh, we had multiple people with flamethrowers. So like in the background while people were performing and dancing, the flares were lighting up. And then while at nighttime we were shooting the flamethrowers up through the sky. And it just looked so freaking cool, man. And so everything was great. And then about halfway through, we get told that two of the people that's like hosting the thing or whatever suddenly wants us off the stage so they can finish up their thing uh, because they were getting quote unquote bored of the music. And then afterwards, they take an hour and a half of our time, which, okay, I literally just woke up. Like I just got out of bed because I stayed up until we were able to go to India to make sure, you know, like I didn't miss it and was able to MC it. And so many yeah. other people did the same thing too. Like a lot of people messed up their sleep schedule just to make sure that this performance happened. And then, so like we have so many people that did that and then it just kind of got disrespected. And then we got told halfway through that suddenly they reached out to Mandem. And so they had multiple Mandem artists that were gonna perform. And that, you know, even though this was told to me that it was just gonna be a Wu-Chang event, I then get told that um, I now have to announce that two people from India are being signed to Mandem. And that that felt like the biggest slap in the face. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, I mean, they're going to be doing dumb shit. Fuck them. Fuck they dumb so, ass over there. Yeah, so I mean, it was great. You know, like we all we killed it. We tried to stay as professional as absolutely as possible. I love this car, man. This is actually so sick. A freaking amazing. Um, and yeah, so like everything like with that was just um, like outside of that, though, the performances were fantastic. It gave us like a little pre-show for um, Wuchella. And then I spoke to the clothing company. One second. Let me send you the picture of what it's going to look like. Uh, we're starting our Reach for the Stars uh, clothing line for Wu Chang and the clothing company's already been paid. They've been paid out of uh, out of city money and it's going to be done before Wu Chella. And so this is the concept of what it's going to look like. And then it's going to be the hoodie and the sweats and then it'll have like Wu Chang on it and stuff like that. All right, send it on over. Uncle Nick with the 135 stars. Hello, how is my favorite streamer and all the wonderful viewers doing today? Doing good. Okay, okay, we're dropping that at Wu Chang. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna actually be, you know, like people can get it from the clothing store. Um, but it'll have, uh, you know, like actually like Wu Chang either on the sleeves or on the back. And so, like, that's going to be a massive thing for us because, you know, we're all going to be able to rep it at Wuchella. Uh, we're going to do some more clothing as well for the future, too. 
Uh, so that has actually been like something that we've been wanting as a company for a while. And so it's been really dope that uh, now like the clothing company is really going to be working with us hand in hand. Um, but I did have to let go uh, an individual. And you said that there was a crap show that happened. So this is actually a crap show that uh, predated that one that you're referring to. I guess it happened today. And we had scouted a person from uh, the Green County by the name of Cheshire T. And, you know, she had an amazing voice and everything. She was the owner of Rainbow Records in Green County. And then uh, she wanted to come to Wu Chang. I told her, you know, she got her passport and everything. We would bring her in um, and she'd be a member of Wu Chang instantly because, you know, we already have like that connection and everything. And I met her several times and she seemed like a good fit. Then the other day, I don't know what like went through her head, but she opted that she wanted to uh, attack a woman by the name of Piper Payne outside of Wu Chang, who was, yeah, who was trying to essentially check out the company check out you know like if she wanted to actually audition for us and that sort of thing and i told her several times to put the knife down she actually stabbed her at one point k and then she never put the knife down she would never listen to me and it got to the point where uh by the end of it this is i told people i'm on my shug night arc and i really mean that like i straight up told her uh that i wanted her out of the building and that she's fired while she was crying and begging me for her job Huh? So, I mean, she fucked up. Yeah. And so, like, that's the thing, though, is I'm telling, you know, like, I'm taking this, you know, like, now that I'm in the CEO position, I want, you know, like, I need people to know that, like, if somebody's coming to the business to take a look at us to see if they want to either work for us, work with us, you know, whatever it, it may be. be on their good behavior. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's one thing if, you know, people are messing around and, like, doing it to each other and they're okay with that. You know, like, a little SBS is fine. It never hurt anybody, right? But, like... You know, you can't be doing that to people outside of the company. And so I told her, you know, straight up, like we were initially just going to suspend her for 30 days, but she didn't want to apologize for her actions and was very stubborn about it all. So it's just like, you know, at that point, you really have to teach somebody a lesson, you know? Yeah, I understand. But uh, yeah, man, that's been it so far. What happened today? I you know Tinker uh, and Carmine were running their mouth on the blocks. I just smoked them, went to jail. Uh came back uh met with dean about that and that's about it yeah Probably gotcha some other okay shit i forget <laughs> um do you know if you are still able to assist with the lifetime contract stuff okay yeah, so, um yeah so if you're able to do that i will start locking down like all the contracts rosa has been writing them up and then today if you're wanting me to um if you're still good with it i don't know like what's happened while i've been uh, absent or whatever but if you're still wanting me to take the position as deputy mayor, I will gladly accept that today because my expungement is over. Yeah, I think you should take it. And um, yeah, it'd be really good to have an inside man in there. And I will probably throw another mill into the account today. OK, perfect. I will definitely take care of that then. And then I will let Mickey know via email. Uh, and if he's in the city, then whatever. And we'll talk to him and get that done. All right. You take care, man. Enjoy Appreciate the car. Thank you so much for the car. Yeah, I'm so freaking stoked for this. All right. I'm just smiling here to you. Take care. Thank you so much, Mr. K. Take care. See that? Oh, shit. That's how we fucking do it. Where you guys at? Yeah. Citrus? You guys at uh, Little Soul? Oh, the fucking clowns are back. Killed him, killed him, killed him. Them damn clowns. I haven't seen the clowns in a minute. Hey, I got no problem with having to kill some clowns, Chad. If we want me to be real.
bam, 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 bam. I'm home. Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> you guys remember that movie? Honey, I shrunk the kids. I'm gonna take my. It's okay. It was it's traumatic. I'm gonna kill those clowns. There they are. Come on, stars. It was like four of them. Death to the clowns. Yo, boss, did you see my email I sent you? Oh, that shit looks fire, man, with some bro broccoli, Rob. That is probably my most notorious dish. That's like the one thing that I'm always asked to make okay, from people really? in my head. So, yeah. Yeah, that shit is going on the menu? Yeah, it's going to be part of the fall menu. Okay, um, so okay. I have pumpkin risotto that I made, um, pumpkin Ooh. raviolis, butternut squash tortellinis, the orchetta, and then I'm working on probably doing pumpkin whoopie pies. Uh, oh my for god, that's gonna be fire. Yeah, so th it's only gonna be something that's there until like right after Thanksgiving, and then I'm gonna have like a holidays, uh, like an Italian holidays menu to do. I'm, I'm just trying to breathe some fucking life into these places, to be honest with you. It's like, yeah, man, switch it up a little bit. Yep, so I'll probably have the menu done and everything in on, uh, Saturday, probably. Saturday or Sunday, but it's just been taking it out of me. Hell yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be looking for it, man. I'll be ordering. Hell yeah. <laughs> you pre-ordering? All right, boss. I <laughs> right, take care, bro.